This is Abdul Kadir Jabi, the founder of Boxing Electronic, the first electric car startup in the Gambia. Abdul Kadir was born and raised in Brikama, the Gambia. And this is his story and his boxing electric startup. So since I was very young, you know, I was not, I don't even realize um, this thing, how it started. I cannot say like, how do I start my this journey? Because since I was very young, because I used to, you know, start to dismantle the things, you know, you know, how to, you know, to bring this, um, the radios, you know, you know, to maintain us the radios and to build a lot of things. It was through playing with electronic toy cars that he discovered his passion for innovation and problem solving. In 2016, Abdul Kadir embarked on a journey to address real world challenges. He took matters into his own hands and crafted his very first table desk lamp. In our area, where I was living, you know, there was an electricity problem, you know, we don't, you know, we don't normally have electricity constantly. So what I do is, I, I make a table desk lamp, you know, that's what I make for students, you know. So if I, if I make that one, I, go, I give it to students freely. So I, I get a lot of demand for that one. And, you know, some, some of the teachers also even tell me that this thing, if you combine the business, it is going to work. So I started with, the, with that journey to make a lot of electric um, desktop lamp to sell it my, with my classmates or for, for our grade nines. So a lot of kids, a lot of students buy, you know. So with that, I, 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 I become very inspired on, you know, making those kind of projects. Driven by thirst for knowledge, Abdul Kadir sought to expand his understanding of electronics. At the age of 15, he embarked on a quest for growth, immersing himself in online programming courses to sharpen his skills and deepen his experience. In 2019, his determination led him to construct his first electric scooter, a testament to his resourcefulness and commitment to the efficient transportation. I built my own scooter because I was realizing that, you know, the transportation system in the Gambia, it is very difficult, you know, to go to Saragunda, or, you know, from Brigama to Saragunda, at that time, you must pay $18, you know, so I cannot afford that. So that's why I come with the idea to build the electric scooter. The time I built that electric scooter, also, many people are telling me that, you know, hey, this electric scooter, I love it, you know, so I need to buy this thing, I need to buy this thing, you know. So and that electric scooter is having a lot of features. It is a waterproof electric scooter and it can be able to recharge itself when it is running. Not content with keeping his knowledge to himself, Abdul Kadir became a teacher, passing on his expertise in robotics programming to aspiring young minds. His dedication to educating the next generation paved the way for remarkable achievements. In the year 2022, Abdul Kadir's skills as an educator bore fruits when he was invited by Kids Technology in the Gambia to train children in robotics. Under his guidance, these young talents flourished, ultimately securing victory in a Pan-African robotic competition held in Dakar, Senegal competing against 20 African countries. So I started teaching people robotics. So I come across with, with the foundation called Kids Technology in the, in the Gambia here. So they called me to go and teach their kids with robotics. So with that teaching, you know, I taught uh, some students, you know, who won the Pan-African Robotic Competition in Africa, you know. 20 countries were participated in that um, competition. So the competition occurred in, um, at Dakar, you know. So South Africa is there, Uganda is there, you can name it, Ghana, Sierra Leone. So with my, with my kids, we went there and we took force. The recognition of this talent continued as Abdul Karir was invited by Gambia Technical Training Institute, now USET, to contribute to the development of the Gambia's first electronic cars for the university innovative competition. Uh, okay, GDT also called me to go and work with their students. No, because they want to do something. They have a very big competition where a lot of universities in the world are going to participate in the competition. So they need someone who can do something in the country here to make country proud. So they called me to join them. You know, so I joined with the GDTI students. Okay? So we built an electric car. That was my first electric car that we built in the Gambia. It, I can say it is the first electric car in the Gambia. Um, it is the first electric car that Gambians have built. Yeah. Now in 2023, Abdul Kadir's audacious spirit persists with his latest achievement including the creation of an electric mini bus and tractor. He aims to revolutionize farming practice in his homeland and beyond. 
Abdul Jabi is a true embodiment of determination and ingenuity knows no boundaries. With access to the necessary resources, he firmly believed that he can accomplish anything bridging the gap between ambition and achievement in the Gambia and beyond. So in our grade 9 or 2, so I built a very nice car, you know. So the time I built that, a lot of kids, you know, love that, you know, especially my classmates. They really want to be like me. Some people are telling me I want to be like you. So a lot of that, you know, so all those things inspire me. I started learning program since I was 15 years old. You know, I was very young at that time. So I started programming robot, robotics, robotics, you know. So after that, I started teaching people how to do robotics, how to do programming, computer, you know, how to build your own website application, you know. Since uh, I was very young, that age, you know, so I start improving um, to combine those things, with, um, those two things with my electronics, you know. We attend um, another competition in, that one is worldwide, in online, so we come with the touch, that precision. That one, we can see all the European countries are there, China is there, USA is there, UK is there, so all those European countries are there, even African countries. So we come with the touch, um, that position. So with all those things, those things, I can say, um, I was teaching kids, you know, but I'm also learning a lot. So all those things inspire me. So we are in the competition, a lot of um, countries go with our names, you know, they were very happy, they were very impressed because uh, what they think Gambia is and what they, you know, found here is totally different, you know. So what we even build is more, um, you can say, it is more quality and more con uh, attractive than what they come, you know. So they see, they come here and see different things and they go with our name. So that's what uh, I also take an English to build an electric car because to build an um, electric minibus. We started to um, build this electric minibus. So what we, what uh, our aim is, you know, you know, um, Gambia here, the transport system is very difficult. Like I was saying, you know, I was, I'm was repeating this one, but it is a fact. The transport system in Gambia, everybody knows, is very difficult. Now the prices of the from the camera set up has increased to $25, you know. So I realized that when we, what if we also build our own electric cars in the Gambia here, you know, before we are going to import things from outside. So what if we do it our, uh, in, the, in the country here? So I start learning also, researching, go to the internet, how to do this, how to do this, you know. You know, taking lessons from experts, you know, taking some, um, you know, samples from the successful companies and their products. So that's why I come with the idea, you know, building our own these things, our own electric minibus. So we started building the electric minibus, you know. So the, the electric minibus, I can see right now, it is, um, it, is, it is not done yet, but it can run, it can do everything, and it can take five passengers, you know. So uh, probably it can able to go from uh, Brikama to Serakunda, and it can go back to Brikama again with a single chat. Okay, after doing that, we are coming to um, the rainy season. We see, we see that, uh, okay, in, the, in, in the, any country in the world, agriculture is the core, you know. There is no country which is developed without agriculture. Okay, okay. Yes. Again. There is no country in the universe, <laughs> you see, like it. Yeah. It's developed without agriculture. So agriculture is the core of everything. In a, um, as far as the country is, is concerned. So I see that in Gambia here, the, our agricultural aspect, um, we are lack of a lot of materials, you know. We are importing tractor, and we know that how cost the tractor is. So I see that what if we, you know, we build a tractor for our, for, for our farmers, you know. So we come with the idea also to build tractor to um, solve the problems for our agricultural sectors also. You know, so that this is our tractor what we started. So it is um, right now, it is it is done. Okay, as as you are seeing right now, we don't have a lot of capacity, you know, to make it like how we want. You know, the one you are seeing right now is that what we have, but it's not what we want. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's not it is it, not what we want. So if you have uh, enough capacity, like enough money, we can build bigger than this one, powerful than this one, you know. It will be efficient more than this one. So what we build here is the what we have. So that's my um, little um, biography, you know. I cannot say everything because I don't remember everything, but that's my little biography. Okay, we talk about the business aspect of this electric tractor. What you want to do with this electric tractor is that, okay, 
We want to sell it to Gambian people. We want to sell it. We want to start before this training season we start. We want to sell it to Gambian people. So what we want to do is the ten, the first ten people who want to buy the um the electric tractor. Okay, our elect our electric tractor is very cheaper. Like the cost of the tractor is like you divide four times of the normal tractor. The cost. You know, it's a is a um, it is it is a totally reduced, right? So if you divide the total tractor cost up to four times, right? It is our um, the cost of our tractor. So anything you what whatever you think you can do it in your farmland, right? Our electric tractor can able to do more than what you think. So wow. yes, it can able to do everything. Whatever you think you can do it in your farmland. Our, our this tractor can able to do it. So so the first ten people who are going to buy this electric tractor, okay, they are, we are going to be fifty percent discount for them. It will be fifty percent discount for them. We aren't going to charge them any of our lo um, our workloads. Only we are going to charge you uh, based on the material aspect what we are going to use, right? So, so the ten people, the, ten, the first ten Gambians who want to support us, you know, to build to build this um, electric we are going to do it fifty percent discount. So, if you want, you can contact us. We can talk uh, with you with the price. So, we normally sell the electric scooters also. If you want the electric scooter, you know, we are selling and the electric mini boys also. Okay, if anybody wanted with those things, you can contact us. Those are the cheap products what we have here. I, I see that our educational system in Gambia here it is it is not good totally. I can say because it is based on um, theoretical aspect. You know, people cram it and go and paste it. Right. So we don't consider the the practical aspect a lot. So and when you see even like we can see this 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 um this theoretical aspect. Um, it is it is traditional learning. You know. And the it, how the wall is going, that one is not going to work anymore. You understand? So the um, you can see our since our grand grandfathers, this um, this, this the concept what this where it will brought, you know. So they teach people, you know, in the blackboard. This is what they are going to do is, um, for example, like you teach someone like in the blackboard. This is how you are going to drive the car. Can you able to enter like the one who who you train? Um, you wrote everything. This is how you are going to drive the car in the key and tell him to drive it. You cannot able to drive it. <laughs> so that's the, the same concept um here. You know, you teach kids, you know, in the blackboard, they just see the blackboard and just go and cram it and paste it. So they don't know, they don't know the phenomenon, the concept behind all those things, right? So what we do here, we normally teach them the practical aspect. You are going to see the things. You do it by yourself with your hand and see it, it is working. Like that the, nobody will tell teachers will not tell you it is going to work. You are not seeing it is working. This one you do it by yourself and it is working. That's what we do. So we teach kids, you know, to build aeroplanes, drones, electric cars. You are going to see it when you go there. Yeah. Yes. We are going to show it everything. So what kids are doing in, the, in our classes. Yes. We wanna have our you know a vast land where you know we are going to far away from people, you know, build our infrastructure there. You know, starting manufacturing cars in the Gambia here. We don't need to import any car. You hear me? We don't import any car and the electric motorbike. And we are hearing, you know, the government, they are saying we are importing buses, we are importing tractors, we are importing. So we don't need all those things. We have people who can, we have people in the Gambia who can feel that. You hear me? You. Yes. <laughs> we can do that. We don't need you guys to import any, any materials. Yeah. You know, we, you know, what we need, sir, we want a partnership with the government fully. Whatever they want to buy, the machines, whatever they want to buy, they just contact us. Please, Tim Buxin, can you able to make this one? When we say no, you can go and buy it. We don't see any machines that you guys import that we cannot able to build in the country here. You can able to build everything, not boss, not tractor. Those things, people think that it's difficult, but just give us the chance. Only one chance to tell us, okay, just do this. When you complete this one, you are going to give a lot of projects and see, and see what we are going to do. If we don't do it, you can, you know, you can ride this with that. But if you do it, we can continue with work. So you want a partnership with the government, you know, to help up to build this capacity, you know, you know, to build a uh, toilet infrastructure where we are going to manufacture the car in the Gambia here. So, you know, we are the first, first uh, people in the, Gambia is the first country who build their own electric truck. But go inside the internet. You are not going to see any African countries that even put their more in the electric tractor. So we are the first people, we are the first country in the Gambia here who build their own electric tractor from scratch. 
So I try to say making these things is not difficult. It's not difficult. No, no, it is not a big deal. You are seeing the living is not a big deal. If I have money, I can build this thing. Twenty of this living within a week. We need thirty million dollars to start the company. Thirty million. So to, to start it fully, I mean fully operation. You understand what I'm saying? Fully operation. So with that thirty million dollars, if somebody invested it, we can um, give um, twenty percent. Yeah. Uh, yeah, equity for our company. Yes. Wow. Yes. So amusing. Yes. And the, the government also, if you, if they want to partner with us, you know, we are, you know, we are, we are really well. Because we see that um, government is really suffering in terms of machinery. You know, mm -hmm. they import everything. So we are not really happy about that. So we want us to partner so that we, we all can come together. We help our country, you know. Yes, that is that what you want, what you want to do with the government. So I will advise the young people, you know, to come and join boxing, you know, because we, um, we see that before we go to Bagu, we can able to make things here in the Gambia here. Whatever you think, me, I don't, me, I'm not afraid of these white people, whatever they can able to make. They are not intelligent than us. I see white people, we do competition with white people and we beat them. Wow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we are not afraid of them. So don't think that they have everything. When we come together, we can able to do a lot of amazing things in the Gambia here. So don't think that you um, Americans, they have everything, you know. Don't think that. We can do it. We can do everything. So what I want is, I want all of us, the youth, come, you know. If you don't know what to do, me, I, I will give you a walk. If you don't know what to do, you say that you don't know what to do. Come to Buxin, I will give you a walk, I swear. <laughs> yes. Come to me, I will give you something to do. Yes, all the youths, I challenge all the youths in Gambia here. If you will say you don't know what to do, come to me. I will give you something you are going to do it and you will be happy about it. All the students, what I am teaching, they even hate schools now. They, you know, they want to concentrate on it because even their school time is up. They don't want to go to school. I force them to go to school, you know. So they really love what they are doing and they are gaining a lot of knowledge. You know, within the single um, short period, they, you know, they, they know a lot of things. Yeah. Them I welcome all your viewers uh, to this platform. Uh, my name is Lamin Dao, uh, the councillor of Abuko Ward. Uh, as you rightly said, uh, Abdul Kadri is a very young, talented uh, uh, gentleman. So we were looking for talented uh, uh, men and women who can come here and give skill training to our youth, uh, likewise women from our community, so that they can acquire skills. Uh, because we all we all know that the government cannot give employment to everyone, everyone. but uh, it's good to have your skill level where you can sustain your living. If you are self-employed, then you are independent. Yeah. You, you don't depend on anybody. We all know everybody wants to be in the office, but you, if you are in the office, you are under somebody's command. Yeah. But if you have your own skills, then you are independent, you are on your own. Your own so yeah. it's very, very good to acquire skill, and it is through skills that we can develop our nation. So our main constraints here are um, finance is our main problem. Uh, as you can see, this hall is where we use our uh, workshops, uh, town meetings and order in fact we all sometimes use this as a storage facility when we have uh, some goods to distribute among the members of the community but as we value their product uh, their, their work we have to accommodate him, them here until and unless we can have a, a, a workspace uh, we need a structure to be built so that they can do their work but we need funding for those uh, projects so we have written so many uh, project proposals to several institutions, but uh, no response yet. So as we welcome you here too, we believe uh, your video will be valuable uh, to our services. And uh, when you share the video, uh, maybe we can have uh, people out there in the world who will come to our aid and support us. What we intend to do in future is uh, we want to make this center a robotic center where children can be uh, trained on robotic skills and then build more products like this. Uh, Abdul Kadri is uh, intelligent, but uh, I can see that the, uh, the student he is training, there are potentials in them who are more intelligent than Abdul Kadri is. Himself. So himself, <laughs> yeah. So if we are, uh, we if we acquire the uh, fund that we need, that means we have talents in the Gambian. 
uh, Gambian children who can produce uh, what we want in the near future. So I'm appealing to everyone who is out there uh, and willing to give us your support to come to our aid. So which kind of support do you want people on the other side to support you in? Yeah, we need uh, different kind of support, either financially or uh, in, in cars or kind. We okay. need a structure to be built where they can have their workspace. Uh, we need also a technical room where they will be doing their uh, researches and other things. Okay. And uh, as you can see, we in fact started our classes here where we normally take these children on classes. But um, there are so many activities in this same room, so we have to rent a house somewhere which is very uh, costly for us. So we have a space where we want to build um, all those uh, facilities. So if we have sponsor, if somebody can support us uh, to build a structure for us mm -hmm. where we will be having a classes to train the children in electronics and also a workspace there where they will be doing their practical work and also a space where uh, we will make as a storage will be very good. So okay. those are the kind of support we need. Uh, as you can see, the center has been here for so long ago and it has not been renovated. So we also need some maintenance work to be carried out here. And as you can see, the perimeter fence uh, is not up to uh, the par because the security, security wise, uh, the fence is uh, not up to that height we want it to be. So when nobody is around, uh, children normally come here to make this uh, place a praying ground. A um, lot of windows have been broken. If we replace them, children will come around and play football. They will break the windows. So if the security fence can also be adjusted, it will be good so that uh, the place will be very, very secure. These are okay. the kind of uh, help we will need from the uh, people out there. My name is Brian Osise, mechanical engineering student, the diploma graduate, and currently I am a teacher. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So these projects were been carried by I and my partner, which is Abdul Kadir, and uh, we have another partner on that, which I said, yeah. she is great here. Yeah. Yeah, she work with us to make sure things are always intact. intact yeah. So on this process of we find it very difficult and very challenges to come up with this. Times we it give us tough time. Sometimes we'll be complaining throughout night, daytime, yeah. how to get even phone to build something like this. If at all we have correct sponsors like correct funding the shape that we have here could not be like this it could be far 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 better than this thing. wow yeah like as you can see it has been like fabricated from scratch to end we started from all like these metal pipes and joined them there's nothing like any robotic to help us for pressing or other thing we have to do everything by ourselves right. yeah from here and there the same thing with the electronic tractor, which can be used for multiple purposes. Farming, like plowing, seeding, and the same thing harvesting. Wow, yeah. yeah, and the same thing also, the mini bus also can be used for transportation. It's not can, uh, it's, it's mainly for transportation purposes, yeah. are in custom. And these are things which are environmental friendly, they are something that will not be like giving you pollution or any other thing. Yeah, because yeah. they are moved by the means of two things, which is sunlight and the same thing with electricity to charge it. To charge it, yeah. yeah. So either use sunlight or the same time is Do it to them in April till tomorrow. It made me hear that the sun is still bright. Me hustle every day, bring food for me mother. Me baby mama and me son and me daughter day. A little prayer that they found the corner day. They would have never taught me papa day. So keep me puzzling, struggling, just to solve some kind of problems. Hey, hey, hey. From things go wrong, so we got to be strong. 
Cause the land I belong, but the day must come in at the battlefield. Where we no got no gun, so we skill sadly no let. So the money can't come. You big up in a gun, thing you end up in a mess, so you be wise and not smart and learn more. Study if you make more money, more cold of your mom, if you daddy, if you holler, if you everybody. Gambia to the highest. We represent Africa. We the best out of us. We need that for us follow. Make sure everybody see this video. Say it to the book on the video. Gambia can you kill it? Nani ya kill it? Sate kill it? Na kambeg? Na kate kill it? You all are we are one. You're walking out of motherland.